hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about data table actions in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop under data table category many actions have been introduced for example now you can use actions to delete the empty rows you can delete the duplicate rows from the data table and also you can apply filter on the data table and sort it in today's video we are going to focus on the filter data table action and this is the excel file which we will use to filter the data table first of all i will go to ms excel and from here i will use attached to running excel and then I will choose the title or the file name. File name has been chosen. Instance will be stored in the Excel instance variable. I will click on save. And then I will use read data from Excel worksheet. Here I will choose all available values from worksheet. And go to advanced. Here you have to enable this first line of range contains column names and data table will be stored in the excel data table variable i will click on save and then i will click on run here you can see that we have all the data available in the data table i will close this and then i will go to data table category and from here i will choose filter data table I will click on this variable picker and from here I will choose excel data then I will click on edit and here I have to specify the rule so here you can specify the column name or the index of the column so index is going to start from 0 so I will use 0 here and here I want to say that the value will be John so i want to filter the column one where the value is john so the column one index is going to be zero i will click on done and again i will click on save and then i will click on run and here you can see that we have got the row let's say you want to filter the data based on the column name so i will click on filter data table i will click on add it and here instead of using the index i will use the column name so this time i will use the column which is role in company spelling of the column name should be as it is given in the file and the value let's say i want to look for analyst right i will click on done and then click on save and then i will run the bot and here you can see that we have two records right i will click on close now let's say you want to apply the logical operator let's say you want to get the rows where role in company is analyst and also role in company is advisor so i will click here to add one more condition here i'll just copy this column name and here the value is going to be advisor right and then i will click on done i will click on save and then i will run the bot you can see here the value is zero so i'll come here and instead of using it as and i'll say it as or because both the value cannot be there in the role in company so i will use or operator click on done and save and then run the bot you can see here that we have got three rows 
right now let's say you want to apply your and operator here right where the role in company is analyst and first name is John in this case you will notice that you will get only one I will click on run here you can see that we have only one row where the first name is John and role in companies analyst same you can verify with this data table there is only one employee whose first name is John right so this is how you can use filter data table action in power automate desktop and let's say if you want to sort the data you can just use sort data table action from here you can choose the data table and let's say you want to sort the data table based on the column name so i will just put it as name and here i'll specify the first name for example and the order is going to be descending i will click on save and then I'll put a breakpoint here and run the bot. And I'll just open this data table. And here you can see that data has been sorted in descending order. Right? Similarly, if you want to use the index of the column, then you can use index and specify the index index is always going to start with zero i will click on save and then run the bot and here you can see that data is again sorted in the descending order right so this is how you can use filter data table and sort data table actions which have been newly introduced in the data table actions in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day